Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your general tarot forecast for the month of November. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome, returning. Thank you so much for coming back. Please check the description box below for any and all information you need about me. Personal reading information, decks I'm using, social media links, past playlist, um, ways to tip or donate. My Amazon wish list is below as well as my PO box if you want to send some uh, mail or anything like that, just say hi or whatever. Uh, that All that information is down below, so please do go check that out. Tons of stuff there. And a uh, quick shout out to all my new subscribers. Thank you, thank you, and welcome. Those who have reached out for personal readings, thank you so much. And those who have blessed me with an energy exchange as in a tip or donation to the channel, thank you so much for your support. It really means a lot to me, to everybody, uh, and helping with the channel's growth, being a part of that. And thank you. So thank you so much for letting me do this for you, and I truly love to do it. So thank you, thank you. So Sagittarius, what's going on with you for the month of November? Happy fall, happy November. Hope everybody's doing well. Um, this will be a general reading, so general tarot, general tarot forecast, but we're going to take whatever comes out. If it comes out about love, work, finance, career, home and family, friends, uh, whatever comes out, comes out. We'll just take it. Um, only take what resonates, throw away the rest. It's a general collective reading. It's not a personal reading, so only parts may resonate. Um, the whole thing may resonate. And actually, I could pick up on past, present, or future energies. I could pick up on maybe something going on with someone around you, and it may not actually be you. So please keep that in mind, but maybe it affects you uh, if you know the person. So whatever comes out here, energies can also be you know switched and flip-flopped around. All right, so let's see what's going on with Sagittarius for month of November. It's a Zodiac Oracle, so we could get a sign, element, or planet, and we'll see how that plays into your reading. If you don't resonate with what comes out here, totally fine. So we have Mars, which Mars here is uh, Aries energy, but it doesn't have to be. Aries, but you could have an Aries around you, or maybe you have it in your chart. Um, competitiveness, assertion, aggression, courage, confidence, passion, and strength. So it's all about that like drive energy. So we'll see how that plays into your reading. And 17 is 8, and 8 is all about action, movement, travel, and that sort of energy. So see what's going on. Mars energy. Competitiveness, assertion, aggression, courage, confidence, passion, and strength. Hmm. All right, so let's see. Let's get an, op get an opening message, if I can talk, for you, Sagittarius, for the month of November. I don't know if I mentioned, too, all the decks are listed below if you're interested in that. All right, I'll have to shuffle these this way. They're too big for my tiny little hands. So, what is the opening message for Sagittarius, Spirit, please? We have an opening message for Sagittarius for the month of November. Please just, well, I only want one. Oh, I guess we'll take that one. Let's see what we get. Emotional balance, stability, harmony, peace, fluidity. So, this is a good energy. This is almost looks like the Ace of Cups energy to me. Um, and green here is all about the heart chakra, which, you know, is about your heart, feelings, emotions, and that sort of thing. So in the month of November, I see you maybe coming into emotional balance. Maybe you've just been through something, could be anything, and maybe you were feeling unstable for a while. Maybe it didn't feel peaceful for a while. Now I feel like everything's just flowing, going with the flow. Everything's getting peaceful now, harmonious. You're getting your stability back. Everything's balancing out for you emotionally, physically, mentally, financially. Green can also be about finances, material things. So you see the clouds here, but you know the sun, sun is coming out. So it's good energy. Emotional balance. And it's funny because Sagittarius does represent um, temperance in the major arcana, which is about balance. So... That kind of fits with you. All right, so let's get another card. What is your energy like? 
What is your energy like for November? Can we have one card? Not the whole deck. <laughs> the Sagittarius, and I guess that's your card. Everything, hap everything happens for a reason, right? So we have divine consciousness, interconnection, expansion, oneness, and light. So, wow, so you may be coming also e emotionally balanced in November, but also be divinely connected to source, to uh, your higher knowing, your intuition, your gut feelings, um, divine consciousness here, interconnection with whether it's God, whether it's whoever you pray to, spirituality, whatever here, but really expanding your mind, your thoughts, and listening to your own, you know, your intuition, and becoming one with that, and just really seeing the light here. And we have 94, which is 13, which is 4, which 4 is about stability. You have 27 over here, which is 9, which 9 can be an independent energy. It can be wishes, dreams coming true, uh, an energy of keeping, keep fighting on energy, and also can be an, an energy of stress and anxiety. But, uh, yeah, with... Four, nine, four, thirteen, four. So stability. So stability and uh, basis foundation kind of energy. All right, so let's see what's on the bottom here. Family, belonging, community, culture, and tribe, which I saw this in your pre-shuffle, which is two. So that is about partnership, unity, people coming together, and that sort of energy, working together or making decisions kind of energy. So I don't know a family here. Um, I don't know something. Maybe there's finally you know peace and balance within a family. For some reason, uh, if things were out of balance, I feel like whatever your situation is, it's uh, within the a family dynamic is like balanced now. There's peace. There's harmony. There's fluidity. There's stability of some kind, and uh, just balance. All right, so let's do some clarification with the tarot. See what's going on for you. Divine consciousness. That's like a big, big awakening, um, that sort of energy. All right, so divine consciousness. You could be a divine masculine, a divine feminine kind of energy also. Like really coming into your power with that emotional balance and the divine consciousness feeling like peace and tranquility and I think this color here represents the base chakra which you know is uh, about peace not peace but it's you know stability foundation everything that you lay the everything in life that lays your foundation you know work family finances friends love I mean everything so let's get, uh, let's clarify divine consciousness. Why is that here for Sagittarius for the month of November? Month of November. And we want one to start to clarify. There we go. Oh, that's two. Well, I guess we'll take this one. Strength. So we have Leo energy here. So yeah, feeling very strong, confident, courageous, and brave. You know, taming your own beast from within and find, finding that balance. Having willpower po also. Wow. So really being strong and confident. Also having a lot of willpower and stamina and just very strong energy. All right. So let's see. Maybe you feel a very strong connection now to source, uh, divine energy, you know, maybe your faith, your spirituality, whatever it is for you. Um, it's giving you this divine uh, consciousness kind of energy. All right, so what else? What else is Sagittarius? The Knight of Swords. Hmm. Air energy. Libra Gemini Aquarius. And... The Six of Cups. So the Knight of Swords is an energy of like rushing in, but can be kind of reckless. So you might want to be careful with that energy. So it's like you want to move forward fearlessly here. Like you really don't care. You just want to rush. Rushing into something 
it's like you've awakened and now you know the strength of something you know your own strength and now it's like you just want to rush forward like just fearlessly but you have the six of cups energy cancer scorpio pisces this is usually soulmate energy and a soulmate can be anything you know something that's totally aligned with you it could be what you do for a living you feel like you're living out your soul purpose it could be an actual lover that's a soulmate um a friend can be a soulmate a sibling your dog i think can be your soulmate <laughs> but six of cups of energy is you know thinking back nostalgia memories of the past uh of family friends kind of energy hmm. so let's get a couple more you could be thinking uh, about somebody because this knight is going this way to the six of cups so you could be thinking about someone from your past that you want to rush rush to that you feel very strongly about and you've been like awakened to something here you've been you've like found balance from within in all ways and now you're seeing something clearly and it's like you want to rush into something or someone that you've been thinking about from your past with the family there though i don't know if it's like an old family member or uh, it also says tribe so it could be someone that you feel very connected to like you feel like you come from the same tribe or community culture or someone you feel like uh you either belong with or belong to yeah the king of cups energy cancer scorpio pisces doesn't have to be you could have water in your chart but yeah this is someone who um has a lot of love a lot of love to give who is loving caring nurturing giving compassionate sometimes they may not express it but they show it uh and things they do gestures things like that or somebody has a lot of love for somebody here so let's get one more let's get one more let's get one more for you sagittarius to clarify this energy can we have one more that one the devil Ooh. the devil capricorn toxic energy here doesn't always have to be toxic but it can be addictions it can be obsessions it can be a very strong bond you feel with someone a lot of sexual energy um somebody you feel tied and bound to some sort of toxic energy there hmm so, so it's either somebody that you feel a very strong, strong connection with because that can be devil energy. It doesn't always necessarily have to be like a really bad, bad thing. It can just be a very strong connection and like bond with somebody like a lot of, um, can be a lot of like sexual energy also and that kind of energy. Someone you just feel like just connected to, but there's love here too. And a, need, and a feeling of wanting to rush in someone that you're thinking about from your past i mean it could be a leo because we do have leo here and you know the mars energy is about you know assertion and confidence and passion also and strength and this is strength with leo it's like you've been lit up about something here and now it's like you want to move forward to that uh, i hope you're not like obsessed with this the devil can be like obsessed also kind of energy or there could be somebody around you in that like obsessive toxic energy all right so let's get your actual situation what's going on with Sagittarius what is all this energy the Sagittarius the ace of wands there's that passion Leo Sagittarius the two of pentacles energy let's get one more in the tower wow okay there's a lot going on here so got the ace of wands leo sag aries and this is a brand new beginning a very passionate exciting creative can be creative it can be passionate exciting new endeavor project um a new job a new um passionate relationship it can be anything here and then right in the middle here we have the two of pentacles energy earth energy virgo taurus capricorn doesn't have to be but this is about trying to find balance so over here you have balance but here you have trying to find balance so 
you know, this was trying, you know, just trying to balance things out, weighing out the scales, the pros and the cons, and just trying to, trying to make everything balanced. And now you have the tower. So Aries energy, and that's Mars is Aries. So this is, this could be a big epiphany and aha moment, and it could be this big awakening over here. It's like the divine source here, like sending you a bolt of lightning about something. You know, maybe, you know, you, maybe you do feel balanced in a lot of ways right now, but there may be one thing that you feel imbalanced about, uh, juggling things around. It could be another person. It could be, um, a new job offer. It could be maybe, you know, maybe you're emotionally balanced, but maybe your finances are kind of out of balance and that's what you're juggling around. Pentacles are about, you know, career, finance, material things. What passionate new beginning here. Very fiery, exciting. Again, it could be an endeavor, a project, a new job, career, or a new passionate uh, relationship. It's like you're juggling around, do I want this new beginning? It's like you just found peace, happy, balance in your life now. And it's like, do I want to have this brand new beginning here? And juggling around that idea. But you got the tower energy here. So it could be a surprise aha moment, epiphany, crumbling, a crumbling down or breakdown of something also. Um, it's connected to the six of cups, which is, you know, either soulmate energy or someone from your past. So something could have broke down with someone from your past. Now you're juggling around whether or not you want to start this passionate brand new beginning and there's a lot of passion here with the devil and the ace of wands so but there's love too with the king of cups so i don't know let's get a couple clarifiers here find out exactly that's too many we have a couple more clarifiers for the situation for sagittarius all right, so we have the Queen of Swords and we have the Knight of Pentacles. So, Queen of Swords to me, uh, I mean, that is Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, doesn't have to be. You know, swords are all about um, communication, truth, clarity, speaking up, not backing down, not taking BS, cutting out things no longer serving you. You know, swords energy can sometimes be a cold tongue, doesn't have to always be that way. Uh, but all whenever I have the Queen of Swords, it always reminds me of divine energy. And you have that right there with divine, what did that say? Divine consciousness. And this is like divine energy. I always see the Queen of Swords as like divine energy, like the universe uh, sending you truth and clarity or bringing in something to you that's meant to be kind of energy. And that's right under the King of Cups. So... This could be, you know, a love situation here that's meant to be with the Queen of Swords energy. Like divine bringing that into you, but you're undecided whether or not you want that. But there's also passion too. I feel passion and love. <clears throat> My throat's getting all scratchy. Sorry. So this can also be divine energy too, like sending you a blast of lightning. And that could have been this awakening here to this like connection. And then we have the Knight of Pentacles, so very slow approach. Uh, the Knights take action, but the Knight of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, doesn't have to be. It's the slowest deck, uh, slowest deck, slowest knight in the deck. So he moves very smart, analytical, practical. He makes detailed plans. You know, he moves very slowly. It's a very slow moving action there. So. So whatever this is, um, I think you're moving very slowly towards it, like just taking your time, thinking it through, being practical, smart, analytical sort of energy. Uh, I mean, this could be about a new job. This could be a new romantic partner. It could be like just your own enlightenment and moving forward in your faith, your spirituality, uh, maybe just a new independent lifestyle. It could be anything here. But you're being very smart and practical there uh, with the Knight of Pentacles and taking your time, whatever this is for you. 
trying to figure out the two of pentacles you know what's the best option direction for me but this new beginning here is there if you want it so sagittarius it's like it's a lot of energy so it's kind of hard to say what this is because i mean we have family over there and then we have uh like a soulmate connection here then we have like divine awakening there so <laughs> it's a lot of energy all right so let's see what your advice is for you so we have the three swords oh, that's heartbreak sorrow heartbreak something you feel like ripped your heart out here very painful hurtful something there so you know I mean, you know maybe you had some sort of hurt in the past and that's preventing you from moving forward in this new direction and really juggling all this around i think you had the tower moment like something ended here uh but then it's like you had epiphany of this new beginning but it's like you're still like well gee, i don't know because i had this you know pain from the past all right so let's get one more one more for Sagittarius death yeah so yep yeah, so well that just clarified everything I just said something ended here this is death Scorpio doesn't have to be uh but death yes yeah, something ended here which caused you a lot of pain heartbreak sorrow you know really hurt your heart now I think it's holding you back from moving forward in a new direction and but if you are moving forward you're, you're being taking your time being very slow practical again you know smart analytical but i think divine energy here i mean the queen of swords the tower and then this divine uh, consciousness it's like you had a big awakening about something here so let's get uh, a couple more to clarify your advice so this is your advice so I think your advice is, you know, even though you've been hurt and, and you know, it was a lot of pain here, you know, you feel like your heart was ripped out is, you know, death here is just to, you know, let it die, let it fade out. Cause you see almost like the sun rising behind there to a better way, a better life. I mean, even the sun here kind of energy, the sun just will come trying to come out over here. So it's like there's a better way, a better path, a better life for you that could come in for you with this Ace of Wands. But in the middle, that's your energy right in the middle of your spread is that juggling it around and not really um, like committing to it. Just kind of like juggling it around, juggling around the idea and not really like making a decision. And divine is trying to help you, maybe sending you... Um, you know, messages, uh, signs, things like that. So let's get a couple more for your advice here. So now we have the King of Pentacles energy. So we got two kings. We have the King of Cups and the King of Pentacles. So, you know, the King of Pentacles is Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. It doesn't have to be, but somebody who, um, yeah, so... Somebody who's very, you know, smart, analytical, practical, um, finances, somebody who may be very good at finances. Um, this, you know, someone's very stable and grounded, um, knows their value and their worth, get, can give, you know, can give birth to abundance. It could be a business owner, entrepreneur, just a high-ranking boss or something like that. But then you have the Seven of Wands energy, which is your energy, uh, Leo, Sag, Aries. So this is being, you know, defensive on guard. Like you have your guard up, like fighting this, like internal battle within yourself. Like just being defensive and on guard kind of energy about things. Hmm. Okay, so let's see. Let's see what your... So, yeah, well, I see just a lot of, like, it's like you've had an awakening to something and you know that, but it's like you're fighting it, I feel. You're fighting, like, a new beginning. It's like you finally found peace, harmony, and balance, maybe in a new life, but now you see something new, but you're, like, fighting it and just, like, tossing around the idea, but not really, like, deciding on it. 
because of what you've been through here, something that's ended. So what is the possible outcome now? Oh. Four strategies. Well, we got the eight of wands here, which is about communication, uh, movement, travel, action. Communication can be over the airwaves, email, text, something like that, even face-to-face, -face, traveling, traveling to see someone, passionate communication, back and forth with somebody here. Uh, it's fire, again, Leo Sagittarius. So it could be with another fire sign. Um, so, I mean, I think maybe you will end up communicating with, maybe this is a new person, uh, communicating with this new person. This is communication. So let's get a couple more, a couple more for Sagittarius for your possible outcome in this for November and beyond. What? Justice. So this can speak Libra, doesn't have to be, uh, can be legal matters, court matters, uh, balancing out the scales, having communication, bringing justice to a situation. A lot of butterflies here may mean something, butterflies uh, transforming a situation, bringing balance to it, and bringing justice to a situation. All right, so what else? The Ten of Wands. So oh, this is, you know, burdens, laying down heavy burdens. Uh, is it an ending? Tens are all about endings, but then one is a new beginning. So, I mean, you do, I did place the Ten of Wands right under the Seven of Wands being defensive. So you may end this cycle of just being defensive and on guard all the time. You may actually start to let down your guard and bring justice into a situation that you feel connected with. Justice could be, I mean, could be divorce too. Uh, some of you may be, um, maybe got divorced or something like that. Um... But, yeah, I see communication here with somebody. Very passionate, fiery communication. Laying down burdens, no longer serving you. Maybe, you know, finally letting down your guard. All right, so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. So we have the King of Swords. Wow, so we have the King of Pentacles, the King of Cups, and the King of Swords. So you can have heavy air in your chart. So, you know, this is... You know, standing up with truth and clarity. Uh, we have the king and queen. We have the queen. Where was the queen? King of Swords. It was here somewhere. Right here. So now we have divine counterparts. This is soulmate energy, twin flame energy. So, yep. So this could be divine counterparts here. Somebody, this could be somebody new you have some sort of connection with. And it's definitely with the Six of Cups of soulmate energy. And with divine counterparts, you don't have to be both air signs. Same suit, and any sign means divine counterparts, uh, masculine, feminine, soulmate energy. But King of Swords energy here is standing up with truth, clarity, cutting away things no longer serving you, um, telling it like it is, standing up for yourself kind of energy. Again, with the swords, can be a little cold with the tongue, so <laughs> three of pentacles. So this is about teamwork, collaboration, working together. So you may actually speak truths to this person and decide, hey, can we take a slow approach here, work together? What can we do moving forward? As you see two people here that look like lovers. So, you know, working together very slowly, very slow approach with the pentacle energies, very slow moving, building. Three of pentacles is like working and collaborating, teamwork, compromise kind of energy. And the moon, so we got Cancer Pisces. So... Uh, this is secretive kind of energy, not seeing things clearly, um, you know, listening to your gut and your intuition kind of energy also can also be about secrets, you know, being revealed as you see this figure here is taking off our mask. So somebody could be taking off their mask and revealing the secrets that they weren't speaking of kind of energy to one. So making plans, decisions, moving forward. Uh, we got the lion here for Leo. This is Leo Sag Aries. So looking out and we got the sun there, which also Leo. So like looking out in the distance, making plans, decisions, moving forward. Four one. So there's a twin flame energy. So this could be a twin flame here that you're dealing with. If you don't know anything about that, you could do a lot of research online and can't explain it in this video. But um, 
stability in the home, family, as we have family over here. This is marriage, commitment, um, a deep bond with somebody. Again, twin flame sort of energy. Going to be also about celebrations, ceremonies, nine of pentacles. So nine of pentacles is usually a single energy. So, I mean, you could be single. This person, you you know, could be single, but very abundant and secure and independent on your own. You can make your own money, take care of yourself. You're abundant, successful. Nine of cups, cancer, uh, Pisces, Scorpio doesn't have to be, but wishes, dreams coming true, happiness and joy. But there is mental blockage with the eight of swords in making a judgment call on the situation and moving forward <laughs> with the offer of love or something like that to a queen of pentacles, someone who's very secure, stable on their own also. And did we, have, we have the king, so now we have divine counterparts again. And taking that action of movement of love or something like that towards this person and making that judgment call on the situation. We have butterflies again. Be, having mental blockage, entrapment, like don't know what to do, but could lead to wish fulfillment and happiness. Again, with stability, independent energy, twin flame energy, stable energy, making plans, decisions, moving forward, secrets being revealed, working together, teamwork, building very slowly and having truth and clarity and communication. So, wow, a lot of energy there. Sagittarius, so I don't know if this is a new person or if you're like starting over in uh, kind of energy with a family dynamic already, or maybe it's a new job. I don't know, but I'm getting heavy, um, like soulmate twin flame energy here that you're undecided about moving forward from the future in the future because of what you've been through in the past. And I've been getting that like all your readings practically for like months now. So <laughs> All right, so Sagittarius, we're going to get some extra messages here. But if you do like the way I read, you like my style, please do like, share, subscribe, and comment. I love to read the comments. If you subscribe, be sure to hit the bell. And you'll be notified when I post new readings. Make sure you hit all notifications so you receive all the notifications. And you'll get four readings a month. I do a general tower reading like this. I do a love connection reading. I do a singles reading. Who's coming towards you? When, where, how? What kind of connection it will be? And I do a spirit guide messages spirit message is what you need to know at this time so if you're interested in all that please do subscribe and hit the bell and you won't miss any readings and if you do thank you thank you all right so let's get extra messages wow so spirit here just <laughs> confirming everything i just said spirit thank you ascension so yeah i think you had some sort of spiritual awakening here it's like you've ascended to a higher level this is all about ascension Ascension and all your chakras being lit up here and healed and just ascending to a higher level of conscious, spiritual consciousness there. Is that what that said? Conscious, what the heck did that say? Divine consciousness, yeah. And ascending. And I had that feeling uh, right from the start when I got this card. And now we have nurturing. So, you know, this could be just taking care of yourself, nurturing you, getting that emotional balance. You see the green again with the heart chakra energy, heart opening up. Um, also growth and abundance with the green. So nurturing, you know, nurturing yourself, healing yourself. So if you've been not like taking care of yourself, you may need to uh, take, a, take better care of yourself. This also could be nurturing a connection here. And then we have, well, love. There it is. So <laughs> I don't have to say any more. It speaks for itself. So, yep. And I feel it's like a divine love here, especially with divine consciousness there. We had twin flame soulmate all over this, divine counterparts. And we have forgiveness here. So either forgiving things of the past uh, whatever you've been through in the past, because now you see like the heart there and the cup, uh, just forgiveness and healing. And I think that's where you've gotten your, all your balance and um, ascension from. And it could have to do, I mean, maybe you had a family in the past, something happened here, but let's see, is there any other messages for Sagittarius? If not, we'll just do the bottom of the deck. That's it. So, Wow. <laughs> justice again. Justice twice. So, yeah, some of you definitely 
uh, could have been dealing with a divorce, and maybe that's what you're healing here because we do have death with the three swords, that hurtful, painful ending here. But I see you moving forward with the eight of wands with a lot of passion, drive, and ambition, communication. So I think you'll come out of this juggling energy eventually. Just may take a very, very long time. And I feel like divine energy is going to kind of move you along. <laughs> Even if it's very slowly um, moving you along to release old ways of thinking, burdens, that kind of energy. Not being so defensive and on guard. Um... And maybe even letting down your guard. Wow, Sagittarius, a lot of energy here for you for November. So again, good luck to you, sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say, with my channel is to always, always shine your light.